Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just discuss how programmers are trying to get other programmers to lose their job. Yes, Alpha Code is a new AI system developed by Google, developed by DeepMind. DeepMind is the AI people who are very smart, super smart people who are working on AI related problems. And they have created this Alpha Go software, not Alpha Go, Alpha Code software, which is competing with humans at a competitive coding level. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. I'm sure if you're a software developer who has ever tried to apply for a software developer job, you know what competitive coding questions are, you know what DSA related questions are, those tough questions where you basically have to code a mathematical problem based on a data structure and a lot of algorithms. Now that data structure could be a graph, a tree, a mix of a lot of data structures in your code itself and some sort of algorithms which are optimized in a way that runs in a particular constrained memory and time constraints, right? So this new software which DeepMind has released, this new AI is Alpha Code. And what they are saying is that this Alpha Code is as good as an average human programmer. And this is a big feat because for the very first time we have got not only just alpha code for example but github copilot also a few months back where these ai softwares are now trying to catch up with what real developers have done this has never been done before this has this is like the first time in the history of programming and programming has been around for i don't know as long as computers have been for 40 50 60 years and for the very first time this is happening where ai softwares which we have coded can code arbitrary code themselves right and it's it's logical it's functional and in this case it's as good as an average human like the company claims to be you can see the news articles from the words and uh, TechCrunch saying that DeepMind has created an AI system named Alpha Code that it says writes com programs at competitive level. This is a big feat because this means that going forward in future, if we have softwares which are able to code these competitive coding problems and DSA problems and all these mathematical problems, then of course that would not be a good metric for evaluating people for jobs and interviews and all this stuff because it's very easy to cheat in that case, right? Or just get hints. You can just copy paste any question that could be a brand new question thanks to our AI friends over here you can paste it you're gonna get not only just how it has to be done but an actual working code and you're good to go but what does this mean what does this mean is this like the end of programmers this is like you know programmers are about to lose all their jobs and so on definitely not I mean programming is one of the jobs which I believe and I'm definitely 99.9% .9 sure is the last job which would go out of the picture. It could be trucks, it could be, you know, shops, it could be firefighters, it could be governments, it could be even, you know, pretty much anything you can imagine that would go out of jobs. But programming would be the last job which would go out simply because that is the fundamental basis of how these AI systems are working itself. So as long as they don't figure out how to program themselves and even get better at it, even be able to debug, fix and all that stuff, which is at that point, we probably have reached AGI. But until that happens, some sort of programming form would definitely be there. Now, would that mean that every single form of programming which we do right now would be there? Definitely not. I mean, like we see in terms of programming itself, how the themes change over the year, how the tech change over the years. Similarly, we will see when AI comes into picture, a lot of fields might not require a lot of human programmers, just like web builders and website builders did to web developers. But still, there would be obviously need of programming AI systems or doing creative jobs. Now, this is where the important thing lies, that creative jobs is probably, again, one of the last things which AI would replace because it needs that creativity and it needs that artificial general intelligence, if you want to say it in that way. So creativity, what this means is it means all those things, all those nice stuff, whether that's optimization, whether that's coming up with clever solutions, clever architectures, clever designs, and of course, whether that's your experience with the stuff you are writing your code in. So if I tell an AI right now, this AI which DeepMind has created to solve a competitive coding level problem, sure, it can do that, but can it build application which is moderately complex and, you know, for example, let's take example of Fort Dam's full stack architecture, right? How the playgrounds boot, how it connects to the front end, how the whole architecture is laid out on AWS, how different services are used. So coming up with the full plan, then also writing code for it, 
definitely, I mean, I can bet on my life that's not gonna happen in the next five to 10 years. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> But, you know, you get the idea that the places where you have to be creative, where the problem statements are vague, they are not clearly defined, and you have to work your way through the solution, and sometimes even the problems, those are the places where human and human developers and human minds really shine and will continue to shine because those things are creative work. Those things are work where you have to think out of the box. You have to think about something and a lot of possible combinations and you have to pick a few. So definitely not in terms of AI is replacing human jobs or programmers job anytime soon. In fact, these systems is also, it's just, just like I said, it's competing on an average human level. It's not like it's superhuman or something like which AlphaGo was, for example, beating the hell out of the best player in the world on, on that game. I don't even know what's the full name of it. I think it's, it's called Go itself, but I'm con confusing it with the Go programming language at the moment. So I don't know, but you get the idea. This thing over here is scary for sure, but not as scary if you are a good programmer, if you think in a creative way, if you are able to implement your solutions. If not, maybe it's time to get a little bit of brushing, a little bit of learning on full stack or Web3 or whatever your learning path currently looks like. And do definitely check out Codedam learning path on full stack or Web3, which basically consists of all these projects and all these assignments and all the stuff which alpha code cannot do, at least for now. So if you want to become a good developer, check out codedam.com. That is all for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.